A long time ago, almost a decade, more than a decade, I came across a game which I'd never heard of before. It was the Mythos collectible card game, which had been produced by Chaosium in the mid-90s. And I had started to, and at that stage, um, it was of course already out of print and there was no support for it, blah, blah, blah. But I had um, someone I could play it with. So we started to buy stuff off of eBay. And I've got quite a good collection, actually. And the other day, I don't really know why, I suddenly felt, you know what, I wonder if there is more stuff still out there on eBay. Because I don't have everything. I don't have the Dreamland expansion, and I don't think I'm ever going to get it because the Dreamland's expansion at the moment sells for something like 400 euro, uh, uh, pounds, which is way too much money. But um, I found this, the Legends of the Necronomicon Booster Packs Limited Edition. And I got this, I want to say, four weeks ago. And I was going to do an unboxing, but, you know, then I didn't have time and stuff happened, blah, blah, blah. But today, I came across a... And, and the way the Mythos card game plays is you usually play it against someone else. Um, and you collect points, you, you solve adventures. And I'm not going to go into any details because it's been quite a while since I've played it. And I've forgotten a lot of the rules, but there are different solo variants out there. And so I thought today I'm just going to see on YouTube if there is anyone who's ever made a video about this game. And I came across a channel that I hadn't heard of before, and I don't know how this escaped me. It's a channel by a gaming lady, um, and I think it's called Geek Gamers or Gamer Geeks. I, one or the other, but I'm going to put a link in the, um, in, in the, in the comments. And she actually does a demonstration, it's a one hour video where she demonstrates her solo variant of this game. So, hey, here we are. But I thought, okay, today is a good day to actually unbox this. So it's, a, it's one of those uh, booster pack game store boxes that you would put up in a store and then you know, people could get it. So um, what you have on the one hand is you've got um, your hero cards. Um, so you, you have investigators in this game as well. They're your avatars. <clears throat> Let's see who we got. We got um, um, Proud Prussian Submariner. Um, we've got um, the adventurous dilettante, staid university professor, um, Ernest Reporter. Um, cleric of Fading Faith, uh, Grizzled Boston Detective, Brilliant Egyptian Archaeologist, um, Hardened Chicago Gangster, so you have your normal staples, Haunted French Sculptor, um, Capable Graduate Student, um, Mad German Inventor, he knows German, um, Exuberant Boston Flapper, Pragmatic Hobo, um, Respected New England Doctor, Controversial French Mystic, The Unfortunate Nephew, um, The Inquisitive Chinese Intellectual, and Morose Veteran of the Great War. So these would be heroes you can play as. And here we've got the actual boosters and let's see <clears throat> what we've got here we've got booster um three and they should of course <clears throat> all contain slightly different cards um so let's open these and see what we get Cards of really good quality. Great. Create bad corpse dust. That's a spell. Boston Globe. So basically how you would divide them is you have different categories. You've got um, spells. You've got monsters. Here we've got a mummy. You've got locations. This would be Boston. And locations um, have different uh, signifiers to them. So this one has a blue 
Icon, which signifies a body of water. Um, red means it's it's a red house. It's an inside location. Um, you've got an event. More locations. Monsters. Tomes. Um, tomes. You can't use spells, I believe, if I remember correctly, on your own. You have to put them into a tome, which you also have to be able to read. This one happens to be in English, so... Um, the unfortunate nephew could read it, but the Chinese intellectual could not because he only speaks Chinese. Um, locations, more locations, <clears throat> and then you have different types of locations. This is Arkham, this is Luxor, Cairo, um, events, providence, spells. <clears throat> And I actually don't know how many cards I have um, all together. I've got several boxes and I played this um, quite often and I also played it online. Um, not that there is an online version of it, but there was a lackey version of it, which you could play against someone else, you know, if they connected to the same lackey server as you did. Um, Boston, Boston, a spell, Boston Globe. Mummy, events, phobias are of course um, a staple as well, um, Innsmouth, Luxor, another spell, and um, as with CCGs, you always is always the case, you don't know what you're going to get in a booster pack, and then what you do is you build your deck and you have to try and solve adventures, I'm pretty sure that there will be some adventures in here, and as soon as we get one I'll show it to you, Alexandria, an artifact, an ally, and of course, you know, for example, if you want to play an ally, you can only play that ally if it is in the right location. So this would be Ahmed, and his location is Cairo, and if you haven't played Cairo, you can't play Ahmed, because you can't encounter him, as it were, that's the narrative, because you're not in Cairo. If you happen to be in Boston or Innsmouth, then Ahmed won't be there, so you can't play him, because you there's no way you could possibly uh, encounter him. <clears throat> the cards are in really good nick. Um, that's an ally, T.E. Lawrence, a tome, uh, an artifact, more artifacts and a location, Achenaten's tomb. So obviously, you know, Necronomicon was, uh, um, was, was written by the mad... Um, uh, Arab um, Abdel Al Hazret, so of course that has a, a Middle Eastern <clears throat> touch to it. This whole um, part of the game, these these cards, monsters, um, the Chosen of Bast, location Cairo, spell sign of Basrai, and here we've got our first adventure. So as you can see on the card, the adventure starts. It's called Knee Deep in Doom. It gives you five victory points if you manage to solve it, and it increases your sanity by two, or you gain two sanity. And basically there's a little narrative on it. Many of the mythos tales feature a poor unfortunate fellow who, despite the best of intentions and regardless of merit, is wholly consumed by the horrors from beyond. Before your sanity runs out, you must have discovered physical proof of the existence of the mythos. 20 points worth of monsters in your story deck. So basically you have a story deck where you play the cards that you can play and you can, if you encounter a monster, you have to kill it. If you kill it, you put it into your story deck. So this is a, is a is, this is an adventure where basically you have to hope that you get uh, monsters and 20 points worth of them and then overcome them and then place them in your story deck, which means that you can win this adventure. There are other adventures which require you to do a little more or different things. And I hope that I can show you one of these as well, because then I think it becomes fairly um, understandable how this game actually works. <clears throat> and for those of you who would like to know, I got this um, off of eBay from um, a seller in the UK. So a very good seller um, who, um, posted it out. It was very reasonably priced. Um, yeah, really good, really good deal. Um, 
more locations. Yeah, a spell location in the east artifact an ally again one from Cairo Ahmed again Shantak that's a monster a tome um, T E Lawrence of course Middle East location um, Crawford Tillingast of Providence Martin's Mansion Catskill Mountains and a brown and Brown Jenkin a corrupt cultist. <clears throat> so, and um, this uh, game uh, also came with starter packs, which also contained the rules. And there is also a book, um, The Art of Playing Mythos, um, which I also own. The Sphinx, Ibrahim Amin, of course, he's an ally from, from the Middle East, Resurrection. A spell, sorry, a spell goes over here. Location Cairo, Société Royale de Géographie d'Égypte, Book of Ibon, which is a tome, The Chosen of Bast, Cloud Memory is a spell, Martin's Kin, um, All Else Warmius, Valley of the Kings, Phobia, an event, and here we've got um, another adventure, and um, I think this is. Um, more easy to understand how this works. Summon Great Cthulhu. In seeking ultimate power, one sometimes finds ultimate power as a member of a secret society. Now you can see that secret society is capitalized. So a secret society is probably a location. So if you want to um, complete this adventure, you must play a secret society card. Um, you must gather the three pieces of the Rillier disc. So you need these three cards as well. I assume it's three cards. Then travel. You have to have a travel event in your in your deck uh, in your in your story deck. Um, by the light of the waning moon. Again, that's a card in the deck that you must play. Invoke Cthulhu. So that would be having Cthulhu as a monster with your chant, and you must play this adventure card while Cthulhu is in play. So um, you can see that these are quite difficult to achieve um, and in order to achieve these you of course have to have these particular cards available. So if you don't happen to have those in your, in your, um, in your collection um, you, you, you may have this particular um, adventure but you can't play it because you can't succeed at it so it wouldn't make sense to include it. <clears throat> and we've opened two, four, six boosters and have only encountered two adventures. So as you can see, adventures are quite rare occurrences. And we couldn't even win this one because we don't even have Cthulhu. Um, another ally, spell, um, location, monster, event, a camel. Cult de Goules, a tome, the Lowell Street Cafe, it's a location in Arkham, skeletons, they are monsters, Mosque of Ibn Tulun, another adventure, Make Money Fast, that's a 10 point adventure, the obsessive compulsive types, that's um, a condition, are always collecting something. Take for example, those collecting, co those collectible mythos cards, <laughs> yeah, um, such as Great Cthulhu, Evil Herbert West, and the mysterious Kitab al-Azif. Keep them out of the harmful rays of direct sunlight and avoid the unexpected calamity and you might find a sucker crossed out buyer through a surprise meeting. They might even bring you enough money to put yourself through university. So as you can see, you have to have all of these cards with all of these keywords in order to succeed at this adventure. Um, and a location, and a location, and a spell. Um, my god, I really loved opening those those boosters. It's just so much fun. And of course, as you can see, we have had a couple of cards that have come out multiple times. Um, Ahmed, for example, um, we've seen several times. Um, Cairo Kahwa. That's a business. So also 
locations have um, keywords. So this is the um, Cairo Kahwa, and it's a location. It's in Cairo, it's in the Middle East, but it also is a city location and a business. So if you are asked to go to a business, this would count. <clears throat> um, uh, create gate, which is a spell. Sand dwellers, which are monsters. Grievous old and new books. That's a location. It's a city. It's business and it's a tome and it's in Alexandria. Khalil Karim, steadfast scholar, knows Arabic. He's an ally. Event, flee the special room. Shotgun, it's an artifact. Um, 197 East Pickman Street. We all know who lives there. Um, Abdul al Hazred. Uh, the mad uh, the mad Arab Abdul al Khazred seeking everlasting life part two another adventure hydrophobia it's the condition home of Laban Shrewsbury I never know if his name is Laban Laban or Laban I'll call him Laban Laban Shrewsbury um, great temple of Karnak country site tome artifact so you can play an artifact at this um, location or a tome and a tome. <clears throat> so also some cards can only be played um, at certain locations. Not only allies can only be encountered at um, their place of origin, but also certain artifacts can only be played when it says artifact. So we've got the chosen of Bast, a monster, the Muski city business tome artifact. <clears throat> Faraz Najir, corrupt merchant, knows Arabic and English. Sign of Barzai, it's a spell. Three, a tree of Sayyid Mandura, city site. Old Arkham Cemetery. And this is also another iconic um, picture. This is one of the first uh, covers for the Call of Cthulhu RPG. Influenza affects opponents, allies. Of course, you wouldn't use this because we, when you play solo, you don't have an opponent. Rack affects opponents' allies. Um, Abdul al Khazret, Seeking Everlasting Life Part 2. Again, the unnameable house. It's a city, it's a house location. Elder Things, a Brotherhood of the Black Pharaoh. Us old and new books, we've seen him before, or this um, Khalil Karim, we've seen him before. Orn's Black affects all threats, that's a spell. Mosque of Amir, city, mosque, our first one. Adolf, again. Nihargo Dirge affects one ally or monster card, it's a spell. Bury one living dead monster or ally in opponent's threat. Raymond, so basically if you did this, your opponent could not use this particular card that you buried to solve his adventure. So it's a, it's, it's, it messes with your um, 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 opponent's chances of winning. Raymond Legras, we know him. North Burial Ground in Providence. Mosque of Ibn Tulum, another mosque. Make Money Fast, an adventure. Starstone of Mnar, and it's an artifact. Akhenaten's tomb, Al Has Al Ashar University. So again, we had this adventure where they say you need to put yourself through university, so you could put yourself through that university. Of course, you could also go to the Scotonic University if you had the card. And of course, um, the booster packs themselves will not be enough to to play um, the game. You would need the base game um, packs as well. <clears throat> Book of Ibon, it's a tome. <clears throat> the Chosen of Bast is a monster. The Muski, location. Falas Najir, corrupt merchant. Sign of Bazrai. Claustrophobia. Anne White, steadfast housekeeper, knows English. She also looks quite uh, demented, if you ask me. I don't want to meet her. Um, First Baptist Church, it's a location. 
and it's this time um, a church. Seeking Everlasting Life Part 2, we've seen this one a good few times now. T.E. Lawrence, Children Have Nightmares. Simon Orn, okay, now he looks, um, yeah, Feuchteinflößend, as we say in German. Tomb of the Prophet Daniel. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got here. Khalil Karim again. Orns Black. The Mosque of Amr. A Dole. Camel. The Sphinx. Ithaqwa, Claustrophobia, Silver Twilight Lodge, Abdul Al Khazred, Konanikat Island Private Hospital, Chapman Farmhouse, and Consume Likeness. Let's see. Al Azhar University. Faraz Najir, Sign of Basrai, Tree of Sayyid Mandura. An empty adventure card you can make your own. Save the world, plus 18. In order to win in a campaign game, you need to get 21 points. Save this one, uh, solve this one, and plus one more, and you're done. So surprise meeting. We had this earlier. Um, remember, there was this one adventure where you need to have a surprise meeting. So that would be the surprise meeting. Thieves in your attic. It's an event. Nahum Gardner. Lamp of Al Khazret. Here we are. Ullaus Warmius. Rabdophobia. Fear of being eaten. Okay. The birds and the biakis. I see what they did there. <clears throat> Tree of Sayyid Mandura, save the world again, surprise meeting again, city morgue, Richard Upton Pickman, create bad corpse dust, influenza, rack, Make money fast again. Livre du vent. Full moon. King in yellow in French, so you could not use this. Le monarque en jaune. Really a text in Chinese, so you would need your Chinese intellectual to read this one actually. So what this actually means in game, in, in game terms is if you, if you have a book in a language that you don't speak yourself and you don't have any allies who speak it, you can't play that card. So it's essentially dead. To you. Uh, Alexandria Museum of Antiquities, Grecian Lekuthos, Ahmed, Cairo Kahwa again, Create Gate, Sand Dwellers, Scotophobia, Fear of Darkness, Shriveling, it's a spell. Silver Twilight Lodge, Abdul Al Khazred, Discover Secret Cash, Seven Cryptical Books of San, and Remortification. It's a spell. <clears throat> gotten over this cough, this coughing, it's really not good. Thomas F. Malone, Thomas F. Malone, steadfast, private eye, and he knows English. Command the dead, affects one monster. Alexandria, Museum of Antiquities, Gresham, Lekuthos, Ahmed, a car. Harney, Reginald, opens fire. Crown Shield House. 
Secrets of the Silver Twilight Lodge, of the Silver Twilight, another adventure. John Scott, Nahum Gardner's Place, Enchanted Cane, and another ally, Brown Jenkin. Corrupt Cultist. And the Brown Jenkin can only be played with Kezia Mason, if or if she's already in play, she, he joins with Kezia Mason. So we haven't seen her yet, so we would not be able to use this card. Um, the Sphinx. Bra Ibrahim Amin, Resurrection. Société Royale de Géographie d'Égypte, Book of Ibon, Potter's Field, Knee Deep in Doom, K.J. Hooper, Steadfast, Private Eye, John Scott, Seeking Everlasting Life, Part 1, we've seen Part 2 several times, The New Moon, The Outsider, Akhenaten's Tomb. Kahwa, Craig Gate, Sand Dwellers, Grievous Old and New Books, Barrier of Nachtith, The Arkham Advertiser, City Press, Pack of Rat Things, Valley of the Kings, Hospital for the Insane, Albert N. Wilmarth, Arkham Rare Books and Maps, and Joseph Kerwin. Another Amphora, Ahmed, Cairo Kahwa, Great Gate, Sand Dwellers, Nameless Cults, Bridewell Edition, English, Eosophobia, Fear of Dawn, Robert Blake's Study, Hospital for the Insane, Lamp of Al Khazret, Vampire, Keyword Invisible, Consume Likeness, Pickman's Apartment, we all know what happened in Pickman's Apartment. This is probably the longest unboxing I've ever done, <clears throat> but there's just so much here. Orn's Black, Mosque of Armour, Dole, Camel, The Sphinx, Instability in the Mythos, Curse of the Rat Thing, Arkham Historical Society, Kezia Mason, she is the one we need in order to play, Brown Jenkin, The Sun Worshippers, 10 points. Townsfolk Riot, La Iatrophobia, Fear of Doctors. <laughs> I like that one. It's what my cats have. They're terribly afraid of the, of the vet. Camel, The Sphinx, Ibrahim Amin. Resurrection, Société Royale, uh, The Curious Parcel, we haven't seen this one yet. Mercy Dexter, Steadfast Sister, well, she looks like she's, you know, not from this world. John Hay Library, John Scott, Seeking Everlasting Life Part 1, again. Massachusetts State Hospital, Brown Jenkin, Brotherhood of the Black Pharaoh. <clears throat> and of course, this is, you know... What we used to do is then we also went through our stacks and then we would swap cards. So, um, you know, we would basically give cards that we had like four copies of, give two copies to somebody else and get something in return. So, um, but of course those were the days when I had somebody to play this with and that was a very long time ago. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Boston Globe, Mummy, Acrophobia, Fear of Heights, The Docks, Thomas F. Malone, Command the Dead, Zombies, George Birch, Seeking Everlasting Life, Part 1, Silver Twilight Lodge, Vampire, Robert Harrison Blake, Steadfast Architect, Brotherhood of the Black Pharaoh. <clears throat> The Mummy, uh, the Muski, sorry, Faraz Najir, The Sign of Barzai, Tree of Sayyid Mandura, Save the World, Surprise Meeting, one more, Migo, King in Yellow, in English, this time it's the English version, Livre Divon, Secret of the Silver Twilight, Townsfolk Riot, Ivan's Wheel of Mist, and really a text in Chinese. So some of these actually, um, some of these books exist in various language um, versions, so um, they've really put some um, <clears throat> Ibrahim, Resurrection Société Royale, Book of Ibon, The Chosen of Bast, The Interesting Shop, Tempest Mountain, Unaussprechlich Kulten in German, um, Olaus Wormius, Mosque of Eben Tulun, Robert Marsh, I, Gnofkech, I love this one. This is actually a really evocative picture of a Gnofkech. And um, Tomb of Prophet Daniel, of the Prophet Daniel, sorry, my apologies. So as you can see, we've got um, quite a sizable chunk of things. Very few artifacts. Plenty of locations. <clears throat> Save the world again. Surprise meeting again. Silly Morgue. Richard Upton Pickman. Create bad corpse dust. Crown Shield House, I don't think we've seen this one. Zombies we have. George Birch, we have seen him too. The Sun Worshippers. Hospital of the Insane. Gatanathoa is a monster. It's a great old one, actually. Sphere of Nath, it's an artifact and remortification. We've seen this one before as well. Um... City Morgue, Richard Upton Pickman, Create Bad Corpse Dust, Boston Globe, Mummy, Acrophobia, Serpent People. Police Investigation, Livre Divon, Secrets of the Twilight, of the Silver Twilight, Earthquake, Eclipse of the Sun, really a text in Chinese. Acrophobia, The Docks, Thomas F. Malone, Command the Dead, Alexandria Museum of Antiquities, we've seen this one before as well, A Ghoul, I don't think we've had one so far, Monophobia, The Fear of Being Alone, Thurston's Tavern, Seeking Everlasting Life Part 2, Kitab al-Azif, Full Moon, Simon Orne and Tomb of the Prophet Daniel again. <coughs> Another mosque, Mosque of Amr, Dole, Camel, Sphinx, Ibrahim Amin, Resurrection, the Lowell Street Cafe, another Serpent People card, Kitab Al Azif, Kezia Mason, Arkham Sanitarium, Barnabas Mark, we haven't seen him, Summon Great Cthulhu, I don't think we've seen this one either. We've got a sizable chunk of adventures, of course we've got doubles, but it's not too bad. So, um, Almost done. Just a few 
few more. Let's see. Um, Tree of Sayed Mandura. Create your own adventure. Save the world. Surprise meeting. City morgue. Bacteriophobia, the, the fear of being, fear of germs, that would be the mayor from Buffy. Barrier of Nacht Teeth, the Ark of Advertiser, the Sun Worshippers, Hospital of the Insane, a heroic rescue, I don't think we've seen this one. Carl Stanton, we haven't seen him. And Consume Likeness, we've seen this one already. Ibrahim Amin, I'm going to call him Idi Amin at some point, I'm pretty sure. Société Royale, Book of Ibon, The Chosen of Bast, The Muski, Nightgaunts, we haven't seen those yet. Bacteriophobia again, Kizia Mason, The Sun Worshipper, she's like a bus, first you don't see her and then you get her three times in a row. Typhoid, that's not good. <laughs> Beatrice is released from the attic. I don't know where this happens in, in, in Lovecraft's writings, but, you know, that was a mistake. Releasing this person from the attic was a mistake, I can tell you that much. Um, summon Great Cthulhu again. Um, a location. Um, Grievous Old Bookstore, Khalil Karim, Orns Black, Mosque of Amir, Dolls, Camels, Giant Albino Penguins. Amnesia, Hospital for the Insane, Lamp of Al Khazred. Massachusetts State Hospital, Hangman's Hill, we haven't seen this one, Simon Orn, we have seen him. Cairo Kahwa, Great Gate, Great Gate, Sand Dwellers, Grievous Old New Books, Khalil Kareem, On Black, Car, Harney Reginald Opens Fire, Kitab Al Azif, Kezia Mason again, The Theron Marks Society, we haven't seen this one yet, Randolph Carter, I don't think we've seen him, and The Great Temple of Karnak, I don't think we've seen that one either. So. <clears throat> the Docks, Thomas F. Malone, Command the Dead, Alexandria, Museum of Antiquities, Gre uh, Grecian Lekythos, Ahmed, Dynamite, Night Gaunts, Ikita Balazif, Kezia Mason, Shining Trape Trapezohedron, Seven Cryptical Books of Sun, we've seen those before, Copps Hill Burying Ground City, we haven't seen this one, and it's also a cemetery, well, obviously. <clears throat> the Docks, Thomas F. Malone, Command the Dead, Alexandria Museum of Antiquities, Grecian Lycuthos, Anne White, First Baptist Church, Dynamite again, Seeking Everlasting Life Part 2, Kitab al Azif, Chant of Thoth, we haven't seen this one. Azanath Wait Derby. If you ever want to feel real fear, read the thing on the doorstep, which basically um, features this character. It's a really terrifying story. Pickman's Apartment. Save the World, Surprise Meeting, City Morgue, Richard Upton Pickman, Skeletons, 
Police investigation, Potter's Field, the Sun Worshippers, Hospital for the Criminally Insane, Sign of Kish, haven't seen this one. On the Edge, I don't think we've seen this one either, and Joseph Kerwin, we've seen him at least once. And last but by no means least, this is the last booster, people. If any one of you actually have survived this, good going. And I can thoroughly recommend this game. I mean, it's a really good game. If you're into card games and if you like Cthulhu. Uh, Grievous Old Books, Khalil Karim, Orns Black, Mosque of Amir, Dole, Camel, Dr. Marinus Big Dr. Marina Spicknell Willett. I don't think we've seen him. Goody Followers Ghost. We've, we've definitely not seen this one. Kezia Mason again. The Sun Worshipper again. Nah Nahum Gardner's Place. Cops Hill Burying Ground. And Carl Stanford. So that's my unboxing of the booster packs for the Necronomicon. For Mythos, the card game by Chaosium. Copyright sometime in 1996, does it say? Um... 1996, yes. So, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this blast from the past. Um, I feel inspired to actually reconnect with the game, thanks to um, the newly uh, discovered channel. Um, I don't want to call it Geek Gamers or Gamer Geeks, because I don't know which it is, but you can find a link in the description. I wish you all a pleasant evening, and um, hope to see you soon on my channel again with lots of games and um, lots of card games of course because now I've got these beautiful maps. Bye bye!